Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Um, any new? Not particularly. I gotta. I just ordered a pizza, so we gotta go quick. I'm probably just gonna have to go grab it when they get here, but hey, you never know. Maybe it'll be quick. They say it's 50 minutes, and this video will probably take me about 40 to record, but they're also always wrong. That's a pizza secret. They always overestimate how long it's gonna be. So I'll just keep a track, the tracker open and pause when I think it's on the way. Anyway, let's ride, shall we? We have Manadet and Monster Pristine here. I have found myself losing a bit more to Manadet lately. And I kind of just like skipping it and going for something else. It's okay, but I don't know. It's something changed. I think Monster Pristine is just a little easier these days for me. Uh, also, I think mana debt when you're starting team is like this. And when I say like this, I mean Acolyte Student. It's going to be tough sometimes to get away from. R1 Ninja's okay. I'm not really down to blind pick Sparky, but we do have Dabble. I think I prefer... This is like a... You're, a build, you're picking one and hoping that they end up being okay. Who do you think is more likely to turn out alright? Hmm... I think it's most likely that Ninja turns out alright. There's more things that work well with Ninja to me. And worst case, they're basically just both Gambler, which is fine. Uh, I just feel like Sparky has a whole lot more chances to be disappointing. And he is so disappointing. So, but now we're looking with Ninja, we're looking for Scrapper, Knight the mid-game monsters here to take this one. But it can also just be this, right? Ninja can take coin pretty well as a tier one. Not a particularly bad opener. Especially if you just hit. Seedling, yeah. I basically never pick the potions. I'm good with the seedling here. We go seedling, play roulette later. Although I've been finding that seedling roulette has been a little bit... Uh, inconsistent lately, I would say. Sorry, I, uh, just taking a second here. I gotta organize my windows. Oh, new item? Seedling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this goes on fighter. And it's all right. Yeah, but yeah, I've been finding that I want to play uh, seedling roulette a little less lately. That's what I was saying. Sorry, it took a second. I had to remember what I was talking about. It's just that Roulette just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Like, two damage cantrip is cool and all, but when you miss, it's like, what are we doing here, Roulette? You know? And it's just, it's okay. But, like, I'm still gonna pick Seedling, because Roulette is a lot better than average, but it's not like a free win like I feel I once made it out to be. I used to be like, oh, Seedling and then Roulette? It's over. GG, we won. Not so much anymore. Last thing, I'm gonna change one more thing. I had to lower, I've been meaning to lower the music audio a little bit. This guy doesn't run here, I don't think. Oh, he does, wow. I don't. Eric Medic. I came around on Medic, I think Medic's all right. This would have been the pick though, where I go, oh man, I took Sparky here, yeesh. Medic gives cleave for Ninja, which is good enough. I also just think the Cleric is, uh, Tough call. I've stuck up for a lot of stinkers in this game lately. I don't think there's a whole lot of sticking up for Cleric. They have some upside, but it's just like, man, really? One off of killing the Alpha before he spawns a wolf. I should probably, as a result, take the time to kill this wolf instead. You win this fight by staying ahead of Alpha. And by staying ahead, I mean you just stop him from reaching the wolf critical mass. You kill him if you can, but when it's like this, you just kind of you say whatever. This is, this is eight. So you're actually taking four. Yeah, and sometimes we get to go growth into growth and look at this seedling value. Look at that. All right, perfect fight. I do think Alpha is the easiest of the starting bosses as well. This is Monster Pristine, so I'm going to pick up Slice. <laughs> Does it show up twice here? No, it doesn't. I bet if I give it to someone else, it shows up twice there. But yeah, having Slice here is good, of course. Uh, just throughout. 
Slice is bad when it's on student because student is not very good, basically. Student is just kind of bad at uh, generating the mana you need for Slice, and by the time you get three mana, the fight's usually done. But with Slice as a spell, we can now pick up basically any uh, blue and be happy. No, you need to give me a block, actually. Okay. Now we are killing this bandit. That's not even Monster Pristine, they're just both hitting sixes. Because apparently they do that. Three plus two. You just lock these and then you guarantee your fighter can't die here. I could probably roll for lethal, but whatever, man. This is lethal, actually. Goodbye, bandit. Great opener. Pretty happy. Yo, the combo! The combo! Sinew Ninja, the combo, dude! Uh, I'm gonna pick it. I've come about... I've returned to liking Sinew a little bit. It's okay, because this team is fairly stable, and I think Sinew will do fine here in a relatively stable position. We just don't want to keep him for too long because he falls off. But I've ha also had to keep him for a while and had him work out just fine. Hmm. A shame, but what can you do? Gray, yellow, orange, red. Petrify, yellow. Yellow, we ignore this and we ignore this. We hit... We want to pick probably this illusion dies and this snake dies, I think. If Sinew dies, I don't really care. But in reality, what I'm going to aim for here is cleave on Medic, cleave on Ninja. Hopefully win from there. Hey, guys. You want to play the game today? Guess not. That's odd. Um, a shame. Any of these hitting yellow? No, they're hitting everyone but yellow. We can... Petrify for student only takes one of his sides away, so we get medic saved. Like I said, with the exert, if you have to sax in you, you sax in you. It's, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes it goes like that. Alright, ninja, don't fuck it up here. Come on, ninja, it's literally just you. God, you're such a piece of shit. God, I hate you, ninja. Next turn, next turn, next turn. Oh, no, you're weakened, you're not even gonna roll it next turn. trapped. Nobody's doing their freaking jobs. Hey, there's your cleave. Oh, well, 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 what do you know? Uh, you're dying to the snake. I want to save my mana if possible, but it's not really all that possible here. I just don't know if I burst here how I kill this snake, you know? Like, the snake is going to eventually win this fight. Uh, the problem is... As I sit right now, I only have one character who can even do damage next turn. So I have to keep the ninja alive and assume she's eventually going to hit her one damage ping. And I think I just let the, the student die. Because as soon as the snake dies, it's fine. Like, we're now in a survival situation here. Because my ninja's fucking up. This kills the snake. I'm, like, losing right now. Do you have a one damage? You have a one damage. Let me see this. This is lost, for sure. Medic loses that. So I'm just gonna roll for lethal. Okay. God damn it. No, no. It goes here, here. I think you have to renew Ninja, right? This is the only thing that seems like reasonable here. At some point in my life, there you go. It's not lethal. Uh, I mean, you have to play the two, there's no doubt. And then we're just rolling for two mana or four damage here. We got so many turns to hit it, Medic. I know you can do this. You have like three turns and you're gonna heal yourself too, so. Just don't let me down, there we go. Fun fight, I had a great time here watching my team. Yeah, you don't feel so good? How about you eat shit, loser? 
<laughs> Fucking rat. Almost through the game. Incredible. Off to a great start. I'm gonna go lead boots. I'm not gonna equip lead boots, but I'm gonna go lead boots because I think they're good later. Yeah, yeah. Medic had to do some fucking heavy lifting. Sorry, is that a 12? Oh no, that's a 14. My fault. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that we were doing that. That's a 14. Good god. Uh, I'm one damage off of killing the pseudo and then I can take zero deaths here. Uh, or, no, I think it's always one death, right? Okay, yeah, and I don't need this defender to roll block. You... Sure. <laughs> Alright. As you wish. I will not mourn for you, Ninja. We are not friends anymore. Oh boy. It's fine. We just take our guarantees here. I'll be out eventually. Yeah. Oh, he's fighting it! I'm at 9 HP! He wins these. Get out of here. Uh, Armor Seer. Well, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna pick Seer here. Let's let's explain why. Armor is not bad. He gives me Smith on Ninja, who then gets the three times two or two damage copycat. The thing that Seer gives me is like a very high chance of slicing turn one. Eh, no, I'm gonna pick armor. You can do this as well. Armor is not terrible with lead boots. I think Seer is too goofy. Ninja, you have two options here. I'm just gonna tell it like it is. You roll dodge or you go to hell. Roll dodge or don't come into work. Oh, you almost did it. Hey, good job, Ninja. This doesn't make things right. We are still enemies, but... I respect you a little more. Slightly more. The problem that we face right now is that our damage output is Sinew, who keeps having to exert, or it's Ninja, who is a rat. Because uh, Student doesn't do any fucking damage. Don't be ridiculous. Mm, you should send one for the Imp here. Student doesn't do any damage. Medic is just healing, and Armor is defense. So, at the end of the day... It's kind of just uh, a tough mid-game, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Who's the middle side with zero damage, flesh, pain? I might need to pick Viscera here. This fight's crazy, by the way. This shit's unhinged. It's... You know what it might be here? I think in this position, like, facing this down, I might need to click on Lich's finger. I never take this, but this gives us a new out. I can go Lich's finger, and I can play, uh, I think it goes here on Medic. And now I can trade, it doesn't matter, it's like this. I can trade Medic away for, this is basically a second two mana side now. So Medic draws two mana, plus the shield one mana gain, and that'll give me Slice, which will then stop me from losing the fight here. Yeah, okay. Um, this works as well. You go three damage cleave, reuse, three damage cleave. Oh, right. You can only, you can't do two, two you can only do one. Um,. One damage cleave on the illusions ever? And then what? The chests are just ripping me apart here. You go there. Uh, yeah, but I want to do it a little differently.
So we're gonna go Smith, three damage cleave on this squad. Four damage to this guy. We use first here, here, student dies. You know what, this isn't that good. Uh, let's do it how I did it the first time. Uh, but the problem is that the way that I did it the first time is, like, dumb, and I don't remember what I did. I think it went here, it... I think it was this, yeah. Sinew's getting put on super ice, but... The actual problem with this play, though, is that even though the chests leave two bones, Sinews exerted ninjas are only hope because student is dying. But I think I have to run it like this. Medic can save student. This might be might be a little grim though. Yeah, he's just off for a while. I need... what? I need cleave. Mana gain, maybe. Uh, anything but renew an X here is fine. Yeah, cleave is fine. Because now we can cleave... here. Ooh, close. What about cleave here? That's the line. Um, it's still pretty bad. Sinew taking that four Petrify was probably losing. But we can still worm out of this one, I think. Sinew has to hit the Gambler. Gamble. Medic can't sustain us anymore. We just have to send it here. Okay. Sinew is a hero. I took this Lich's Finger to try to worm out of this fight, and what happened here? I just didn't hit it. That's the problem with single side replacers. You pick this shit, and then you just miss it. And you go, huh. Well, that was fucking worthless, wasn't it? Sure was. Please leave, thank you. I don't know if I was gonna roll the damage. Oh, god. Oh, boy. Okay, I have... I have Slice. Do I have the mana gain to play Caldera? Caldera is so greedy. Especially facing this shit. Caldera is so, so greedy. I don't think I can. I think I have to play Fiend. And you can take the Lich's finger off of Medic. Oh boy. Oh, it's gonna be tough. But we have burn, so it's okay now. But like, these pseudos can roll high and kill me. Thankfully they double low rolled, which is very kind. Uh, you're gonna roll down. No, wait, I need mana. Okay, I was about to be upset. Uh, we can go, we can go slice instead of burn, potentially. But if I burn, I can just see what needs to be killed. And it's... <laughs> This bones. And we just go for a pseudo, I think. I think that's the move. Turn two is scary, but I think this is fine. It's just tough because I have to put so much on Sinew, and he's not supposed to have this much responsibility. But if we stall a turn, we get a we get Sinew back. So a ninja should roll. Copycatting isn't that good. Okay, I'm gonna take the damage because rolling an X here is worse. So I don't mind going for a little burn first angle. Please leave. No, he fights. Okay, we made it. This fight's horrific. This this run is horrific. I think I'm gonna pick whiskey here. More HP for Fiend is probably the line. 
I also just don't really like Shining Bow, but, you know, desperate times, maybe you click it. But this isn't a fight that I need it. Maybe it'd be good for a Lich, but I've already made my choice. Oh no. Okay. Woohoo. This dude, I, Fiend has been making me sweat a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. He's been making me a little bit nervous. I don't understand why brother is doing this to me. We're like, I don't know, every fight is so scary. My tier three needs to be a big player. If I if I brick on the tier three, I think I might just die. This has to be cleave for killing the graves. And then I don't want this. No cleave heal. Oof, oof. Fine, I wish I took it. You're right, you're right. Let's see, we lead off with burn. Oh, it didn't have to be cleave to kill the graves. The graves are already dead. This is here. Burst. Fiend is fine. Not gonna renew him, because I'm just gonna go for the lethal here. We're almost out. And Sydney's awake now. Probably don't like that. The? Repeat after me. Combo. I'll work Kronos. These are fine. Let's think about this one logically here. I need... Th this isn't exactly what I need. I needed a damage powerhouse to carry me through this fight. Uh, I got Stalwart Kronos. These are defensive options. They're not bad, but they're not what I want. So what's the line? What are we doing here? I think if you drop Fiend, you lose the game. So I'm going to pick Stalwart. Pretty easy when you think about it. I'm also gonna leave Stalwart off of Lead Boots because if I roll Exert, actually no, Lead Boots into Exert on turn one or two is a ghost kill. And then I can kill both ghosts and then even if Baron kills one of my guys, I'll be all right. Let's run it. Cleanse is fine, two damage. Sinew, this is your moment. He has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, Sinew has done his job. We get the cleanse for medic, so we can ignore this ghost, kill this ghost, break there. And, uh, yeah. We did it. I think we lived. Oh, no. Mistake. Mistake, mistake, mistake. What the hell? I am bailed out, but I should not have been bailed out here. I was supposed to break intangible on this ghost. That was a big misplay. There is no reason to do this. Uh, we're gonna go renew, renew. Actually, let me check. You're on. I'm one off. Too bad. It's fine. He'll die next turn. I should not have made that mistake, though. That's a big misplay that I should. Like, at this point in time, I should stop. Like, I should not be doing that. I know better. I know not to make that sort of an error. You would think, anyway. It's easy to forget, though. Lead and handle, plus one damage and heavy to all damage sides, or plus one, minus one, plus one. I like plus one, minus one, plus one a lot. I think it's usually pretty good. I'll take this for ninja. Something like that's all right. Demon troll, not too bad. It's not so bad because we have, uh, we counter, we, we beat Pristine here, which is good. Okay, guys. Think you're fucking funny or what? You think you're hilarious, don't you? Look at these freaks, man. I'm just trying to make an honest day's living here. And what do they do? Disgusting. Disappointing. Then you ninja medic. 
Oh man. I'm not down with this shit. All right, Fiend. I should let you rot. I should let this guy fucking, fucking choke on it. Man. What do you mean you went heal to heal to X? Where's my mana, freak? Come on. Oh, he just does too. Good cleave heal roll. Or cleave shield, I mean. A good cleave heal roll, hey, you, you will it into existence. Say it and it shall be. I'm just gonna renew med or ninja here. We're we're climbing, it's okay. The summit is far away, but we don't stop the climb. I will reach it one day. I'm not dodging with ninja, fuck that. We got shit to do, ninja. We got dudes to kill. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that one's not too good either. Well, if I pick Wanderer, I will be no more. So I suppose we're playing Dabalist. Dabalist is, like, fine, but it's not what we need, you know? We need someone who's going to really show up and hit it out of the park. Dabalist is just okay. Mediocrity in a sea of disaster. Uh, let me see. Can Sinew survive this, you think? <laughs> no. How much is he overkilling by? Oh, it's like exact, isn't it? I can have Fiend kill one for him. And then we find... You go here, and then we kill this guy, and we kill... Or we not, we want to aim to kill this one because these two are exerting. Stalwart just holds that shit, by the way. 10 HP. And we walk this fight out. No problems. I'll take it. Sickle is good. Second chance. I think Sickle is too good to pass. Lois Side's getting plus ones here. This is very good. Take those to fours. So you can do this, and now Dabalist gets 5-3-5. Five, five. That's pretty solid. Ideally, this will end up on someone named Wizard later on, but it's fine as is. Time for my poisoning. I actually should have taken the, the boots off of Stalwart in this fight. Makes it easier to fight the poison. That's one dead snake. Uh, that's another dead snake. I have to burn. I think I'd rather save. I don't want Sinew dying anymore. So I want Sinew full health for the transition into whatever yellow. What yellow do I even want here? I don't know, man. I think that it's all tough out here. We're basically just playing through our blue with this team, realistically. This team has one real gameplay idea. It's big blue with Dabalist and a Stalwart here. We all, our items also support strong blue better than they support strong yellow. That's the important thing to note. We want to pick based on what our items are good for. And our items are good for, like, wizard, sorcerer, uh, maybe even... No, Artificer, I think it's bad, because he starts at zero. Probably no ghasts either, but you get the idea. Artificer. Oh, he has twos. Yeah, Artificer, isn't it? Surgeon is the guy for sure here. Because Surgeon takes Sickle and goes up to three mana heal. I have a one. I have two which is burst. I have three, four, four, two. Yeah, okay. We could play Lich's Finger here. If I had something worth playing Lich's Finger on, we could play it. But for sure, uh, it's like sometimes you need mana. I'm going to go. I want the lead boots value. I'm going to put it on Tabalist. I need Stalwart to be able to roll me cleanse when Basalt is inflicting death. That's a lot of weaken. Uh. One, I need fours. 
It needs Sinew to give me a four. That might be good enough. Let's just let's just see. Here. Two. Burst, burst, yeah. The weaken is brutal, but okay. Uh, it's just these two take the turn off, and that's fine, because a lot of times Basalt misses here. Yeah, that shouldn't matter. I have Stalwart here to put a stop to this. So this is a free turn for me, pretty much. It's free resources. And even though, like, I'm only doing one damage, but it doesn't matter because Basalt, I'm I'm getting this turn for free. Right, I'm counteracting that turn, and even though he weakened me so I didn't get much, I'm winning on this turn. No one has a 3 for me. If I had a 3 here, I think I would kill him. Exerting here is risky. But what else am I going to do? And you're going for mana. That's fine. I think I'm just going to have to like kill him by hand now. Pick these guys up. Yeah, we have burn as well. Maybe I shouldn't have. You know what? I think I shouldn't have bursted Basalt, because I could play burn burst guaranteed otherwise. Another slate. Yeah, keep them coming, boss man. Do not exert. Burn. We have to fight back against the slates. As much as I would like to just put a five into Basalt here, you can't do it. We have to be fighting the slate population off. No, you need mana for sure. Mana for sure. Surgeon always rolls me healing, so heal shield three. And especially at this point in the fight, double heal is the same as heal shield three. So I should always roll. Mm -hmm. Cleanse is fine. So I have big mana, which lets me play... Burn. Oh, it's a tough one. Cause I, I guess I have to go slice burst. In there. Okay, so it's important for me in this spot to try to save Fiend's HP since he's all of my team pretty much. So I'm gonna give him a little more health. When he gets this shield for cleanse. Four weaken. If I go three cleanse, you're one weaken, you could potentially hit a three for me. I'm willing. Surgeon goes kind of low, but it's all right. Remember, we just fight the slate war. Basalt will die eventually. In a world where I hit a three here, I also just win. Sadly not. Another slate touches the beacon. Whatever, man. As you wish. We just go burn burst. He's gone. Uh, probably healing fiend for five. I don't want to exert sinew here. I think it's wrong. I win this fight by killing all of the slates and out healing basalt. So, like it or not, sometimes we're going to have to just take it. Oh, I have lethal anyway on him. Two, hit, hit. I could also, you know what is better here probably is letting Fiend die and then operating. Although, why? Yeah, probably not, actually. Shield, shield. I think all my resources go into Fiend anyway. He's weakened though, and you know, it's kind of wrong to burst into Fiend here, I wonder. But I'll have, I want to keep burn up so that I can burn the slate next turn. It's just like, oof, hope Dabless rolls a one. Nice, good job Dabless, proud of you. Just roll for damage of any kind. I am not exerting when he's spawning a slate, that's incorrect. For sure. Not really anything to do on this turn though. Hmm. 
min-max our mana here. It matters. I'm just kind of stuck. What I needed, the problem that I'm facing here and why this fight is hard when I said it wouldn't be too bad is because he's not rolling Inflict Death. I crush him if he rolls Inflict Death because I have Cleanse and this is a non-issue. He's just sitting here going Slate, Slate, Weaken, Slate, Slate, Weaken, which is really hard for me to deal with because I don't have the damage to finish him off since I can't chip three. And I'm just kind of trapped. Never this. We're always rolling for mana. I'm always rolling for mana. Good. Burn. Oh, hey. This goes here, then. I need to save every point of HP on Fiend that I can. Because this is where it gets kind of hard. Even if I race to the end here, which I obviously can go for it, it's going to be death. We're killing him one damage at a time. Eventually, if this fight goes long enough, he has to roll it. Let's see, 4, 8. How far off am I? A bit. I think I do lock the exert, though. I'm willing to roll for lethal here. This for sure. Lens shield 3, I guess. Oh, fiend. That's not very good for me. Because now I lose someone. Uh, as long as Surgeon is alive, I can be okay here. What a whiff, man. He's getting weakened, so I guess I just let him die. I wonder if it's this. I think it's this, actually. I have two mana. You're gonna be able to roll me one. I think I need to hit the slate. Okay. Just stop rolling. Yeah, there we go. Inflict death. Thank you. Finally. You're gonna hit the slate. Uh. Let me see this. Ah, 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 okay. So this is locked. Three is your pretty much your best. Burn one damage burst. You're on ten, you're effectively on eight. I can roll lethal next turn, so I'm good with this. Okay, so what I should do here is I should roll Stalwart for the 5 damage. Because if he can hit 5 damage, I can kill. Okay, okay, okay. So it goes here, here, burn, hit, kill. All I have to do to win this fight is Sinew rolls a 4. If he misses here, I lose the game. God damn, I'm good at this shit. Oh, I should have checked how many turns that was. That was a long fight. Uh, I got unlucky, though, for sure. That was a hard fight because of the rolls. It's like that sometimes, though. And now we... Serration? Hmm. Probably. Oh, my cat's awake. I'm going to let him out. One sec. Okay. He has departed. So we're going to take off the lead boots and we're going to put on serration now. And we're just going to not commit ourselves to lead boots, I think. I think lead boots have served its purpose and I don't have anyone for it right now. Forcing value out of it is going to cause me trouble. 
And I mean, I'm feeling pretty good after that last fight, I gotta tell you. You walk away from a fight like that, feels kind of nice. Four here. Right here. I'm double exerting. Oh, but I just go slice, slice, right? Because I didn't use Davalus mana yet. All right, all right. Now we get a nice quick one here to finish up Fanatic. Veteran Weaver. I think I need better than Weaver. I'm pretty sure I need... Although I have... No, no, it's Weaver for sure. Look at this mana gain. One charge roll and I win the game. Look at this mana gain. We got three here. We got threes here. It has to be. You pick Veteran there, you're out of your mind. It's for sure. Okay, we got a four. I can ignore this demon. Ooh. Ooh. Then you kind of did this to yourself. I'm not gonna lie, buddy. This is a little bit on you. You X'd it, not me. Not ideal, though, because I'm only rolling three dice this turn. All right, we're lucky. Could definitely get got there. I know he's taken so much damage, but I think if you delay anymore, you can get in a lot of trouble here. Just let him hold this shit. He can tank it, it's fine. It's what whiskey's for. Good, good, good. Wouldn't mind some damage here, Stalwart. That's all right. Because if you go like, we could operate here, I guess. That's probably the best idea. Just pick our boy back up. Oh yeah, Weaver's also the right choice in case we fight Hexia. If we fight Hexia, it's like, tough. It's a lot easier with Weaver. Oh, he dies for that. There we go. Dumbbell. Ooh, if I could take three items on Surgeon, we could go Dumbbell. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be fucking terrible. But we could do it. You go uh, Dumbbell Lead Boots Sickle for the plus fours. This is Helm of Power for sure. And it just goes on the six mana gain. It's fine. Not what we want, but it's whatever. Sometimes Surgeon rolls six mana and then you roll charge and win the game. Sometimes. I think if I lock the six mana, I just roll all the way for it, because, you know, why not? Let's do this in the right order. Gray, red, blue. I'd actually rather hit here since Weaver has the whiskey on. Crush. Crush. Seems good. The real star of this one's gonna be Serration, though. Also, if you remember when I picked Sinew, I said we just want to get rid of him. Uh, if we keep him to the end, it's gonna be rough. Well, well, well. Here I am. And would I say it's been rough? Yes, I would say that. Hexia. What's going on? Uh, Hexia's fine here, actually, because we just click on Barbarian and then we hand him Helm of Power. And we sit here and stall, and eventually Barbarian wins us the fight. At some point in this run, my Barbarian will hit Hexia for a 20. I am inclined to hope. There it is. Alright, goodbye Hexia. You can go. Thank you, Barbarian. That seems right, yeah? I think so. Great job, champ. Can my team kill four imps? I don't know, it's gonna be tough. Wait, that was supposed to be a joke, guys. Guys? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was kidding. 
I wish Crush... I mean, it's you can't really change it to do one more damage because then the spell is crazy. But all these enemies have 4 HP and I have to crush twice to kill them. Okay. That run was tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. That one was brutal. But mostly it was brutal because of the ninja sinew combo. But, eh, whatever. You do what you gotta do. I think the big thing that made that run hard, though, was locking my Dabalist with lead boots. Because I needed I needed to have more ways to hit three. I needed it to be something that I could do on demand to make that fight playable. Because getting stuck on three on that guy is really bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.